Warriors rise. I'm going to show you how XRP Ripple is going to take over the banking system. And I'm going to show you why they're going to take over the banking system. My name is Coach JV. I am the top health, mindset, and crypto coach in the world. What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. If you want to join one of the best crypto academies in the world, our revamped 2.0 Crypto Academy is available now. Mindset, subconscious mind programming, goal setting, vision board creation, cryptocurrency, what is it? how to do it, and examples. We launched our new Crypto Academy 2.0. You can join down below by clicking the description. It'll explain everything in the description down below, exactly what you get by joining our brand new Warrior Academy, revamped 2.0. All right, let's kick it off, Warriors. So first, we're going to start with the narrative, right? I've been showing you all the players in the game as we go along this little yellow brick road to the to the Wizard of Oz, right? When we pull back the curtain, we don't know exactly what's going to happen behind the scenes. Well, I'm going to tell you facts, figures, numbers, logic of where we're heading. Ripple XRP is going to be a big piece of the new banking system. I've been telling you this for two years. From my experience as a banker for 12 years in the banking system, understanding how slow and archaic the banking system and how behind the banking system is compared to the innovative technology that's coming out on a daily basis. We're moving from Web 2.0 to Web 3.0. We're moving from industrial to technical. And the biggest shift in your financial system is happening while you sit there and look at all the narrative going this way. You look this way at a narrative, there's a whole nother narrative happening this way, Warriors. So let's first take a look at this. So Eleanor Tourette and um, uh, Charles Gasparini have been going hard at Fox against Ripple, right? It's going to be one of the biggest cases. They're genius, genius as reporters, as making this their catalyst because it's going to blow up their careers as soon as this thing gets revealed to the public, right? So she says, update on our efforts to reach out to Gary Gensler and the SEC, a press spokesperson was very responsive at first, but when we sent them a draft of our Ripple versus SEC opus for comment, they went radio silent, have sent several follow-up emails since last week, and they have not heard back. The reason why they haven't heard back, Warriors, is because this thing is getting close to settle, in my opinion. And I'm going to show you why, because we're heading into 2022, because the whole banking system is sw shifting. SWIFT, JPM coin... Uh, R3, Consortium, Algorand, XRP, XLM are all working behind the scenes to connect the new banking system. And they're using Ripple XRP to bring in the new Howey test on how they're going to regulate stable coins, the banking system when it comes to cryptocurrency, how they're going to regulate DeFi, how they're going to crush your DeFi gains. Trust me, you got to be ready for this, Warriors. You got to be ready for regulation. Make sure you have an exit plan. I believe when we go into December, we're going to see that big, big spike, and then we're going to see it coming back down. So be ready for regulation, Warriors. Make sure you're in fundamental cryptocurrencies. So Eleanor knows that they're avoiding them. They're not going to jump on Fox News with them. Brad Garlinghouse says they're all selling you a narrative, Warriors. But here it is right here, JP Morgan. If Ripple wins the SEC lawsuit, XRP is poised for significant adoption. If the company is able to win the SEC lawsuit and trading resumes on major cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase, XRP is poised for significant adoption. JP Morgan's North American Equity Research reported published earlier this month puts XRP in the spotlight, even stating the digital asset is poised for significant adoption. While the price of XRP has fallen in recent days, Along with the recent cryptocurrency market, Ripple Labs has been working nonstop in signing new partners for RippleNet, network, and on-demand liquidity services, thus spreading the use of XRP. Whereas this case hasn't stopped anything except in America. They're still signing partners left and right. They are still setting up the global banking system because this is all by design. Now, let's just connect the dots and let's show you facts, figures, numbers, logic. I could tell you news. I can tell you what's going on with the SEC case, but let's take a look at who's all connected we know that jp morgan right they have their blockchain of excellence they have their own jpm coin but let's take a look i mean you can go on their website you can read all this stuff they created their own distributed ledger technology 
They're connected deeply into the cryptocurrency space. When they told you that cryptocurrency is a fraud, that cryptocurrency is going to go to zero, that you're a criminal in 2017 if you buy cryptocurrency, right? They have their own JPM coin. You can dive into all this stuff if you'd like to. It's pretty interesting to take a look. But I want you to look at their memberships. They got Hyperledger, Enterprise Ethereum. People keep saying Ethereum is going to go to zero. Ethereum is deep in the banking system wars. They're deep in the banking system. Okay. So Ethereum is not going down to zero. <laughs> so you got Hyperledger here, right? So this is the things I want to focus on. These are all the memberships. And we keep showing you how everything is connected behind the scenes, right? So if we go over to Ripple, this is back in 2015. Ripple joins Hyperledger Consortium. They're all connected behind the scene. Ripple becomes one of the latest partners. Since the first pool of partners organizations was announced in 2016, Hyperledger has added more than 200 different partners to its consortium. Hyperledger's announcement of the addition of Ripple um, to its ranks also includes a notice of 13 other companies and organizations which would join the same time. One of the other companies to join the project is CU Ledger, a different consortium in, its, in, in and of itself, a project which Ripple backed by the group of credit unions. Let me just read that again. One of the other companies to join the project, CU Ledger, a different consortium in itself, a project which is backed by a group of credit unions. Warriors, they are all working together. You got Ripple, JP Morgan shouting out Ripple because they know the adoption is coming. They're working behind the scenes with Hyperledger. Hyperledger's working uh, to connect the credit unions. They're all working behind the scenes feverishly to get the new banking system set up. Well, along this road here on November 19th, 2021, this was published. SEC appoints um, Hogzane Zhu to run trading and markets division. The move could single changes to rules governing payments for order flow. You see where the narrative's going. Gary Gensler comes in to bring in regulation on cryptocurrencies, is hammering down on cryptocurrencies. Is hammering down on cryptocurrency. Sorry about that. My apologies. Where you guys know I don't edit my videos. Um, is hammering down on cryptocurrencies. Okay. So, and then we go into this gentleman who they're bringing on for payment order flows. But let's see where he came from. Okay. So he came from MIT. Wow. You got Gary Glenser, who came from MIT, head cryptocurrency professor at MIT. Now we have another gentleman coming from MIT, <laughs> coming into the SCC. Do you see everybody connecting? Jay Clayton leaves the SCC to go for cryptocurrency. Bill Hinman leaves the SCC to go work for cryptocurrency. Brian Brooks was head legal counsel at Coinbase, became the head of the OCC to federally charter a cryptocurrency bank. Brian Brooks leaves and becomes the CEO of Binance. I know he left there, but I'm sure we'll find out he's with another cryptocurrency. So now the person they appoint from the SEC comes from MIT. All these elites are connected behind the scenes, okay? So let's continue on. So if we look at here, if we look at uh, the um, adoption, okay, the adoption of iOS, ISO, iOS, my dyslexia, ISO 20,022, we take a look at the timelines here, okay? So we got the U.S., Fedwire, and chips in the U.S., okay? Swift system is going to start slowly implementing this and moving into it. This is the whole uh, lined out, okay? We got fully fledged ISO 20,022 as we go into 2020. Three. So as they slowly switch the banking systems over, moving them over to distributed ledger technology. Now, you got to understand the banking systems work on the old archaic SWIFT system. Many banks are going to struggle or were going to struggle in regards to moving their systems and processes over. Now, what's happening is all about payment order flows. Okay, I used to work in banking. Now, just because a transaction settles very quickly with a consumer now, it doesn't mean it settles quickly on the back end with the banks. That's the biggest problem is that money moves at the speed of light peer to peer, but it doesn't move at the speed of light from the bank to bank. That's where the biggest problem is. So we have the supply chain management problem. They're going to solve that through distributed ledger, excuse me, through blockchain, which is going to move money at the or move uh, products and services at the speed of light. But if your money doesn't move at the speed of light, you're stopping the payment order flows, which is going to stop the liquidity needed to keep the banking system going. So the biggest issue we're going to have is liquidity. So they can get money to move at the speed of light. They can keep this whole scheme going and move it over to cryptocurrency. If they can keep the money moving at the speed of light, they can move the whole scheme over to cryptocurrency. Okay. So we know that on October 4th, 2021, the Federal Reserve Board announced that the Reserve Banks will adopt a new messaging format for Fedwire Fund Services, which is the ISO 20,022. 
We know that Volante is connected to Ripple, right? We know that Volante is to help shape the future of instant payments. Well, we know that they're part of ISO 20022, like the FedNow. It says right here, the payment system, FedNow. And we know that they're connected to Ripple. This is all happening step by step, announcement by announcement, right? And this is right here. This is from, uh, this is the essential role of the request of payment in real-time payments modernization. The second of three briefings regarding the modernization of payments in the United States demonstrates how requests for pay solutions can deliver the on-promise of a better payment experience and financial outcome for consumers, businesses, financial institutions that support them. OK, I want to read this to you. This is going to take a little bit longer, but I want to read this to you. So the rich market of fast real time payments, the market driven approach to real time payments in the U.S. is unique and has launched a variety of solutions options, some that are truly real time and others that are simply faster traditional payment types. This provides the benefit of solutions of choice, but also creates some market confusion as not all options currently available are created equal. For the purpose of our discussion here, real-time payments means a settlement system that moves transaction between accounts within seconds is delivered 24-7, and the funds are received, the transactions are irrefutable. That is exactly what XRP does. The Clearinghouse RTP network and FedNow instant payments anticipate to be launched by 2023 and 2024. Let's go back at the graph. 2023-2024. Okay, through the Federal Reserve System, a real-time payment network that meets this definition. They are connected to Volante, which is a partner of Ripple. Okay, any type of payment can be served as these real-time systems within or whether uh, between individuals, business, or combination. Okay, other fast-time payments are also available in the U.S., but they may differ in settlement speed, customer reach, and ubiquity and availability. So, Zell. Networks was per, um, <clears throat> purpose built to handle peer to peer use cases and expanding into other consumers to business to business channels. While Zelle products post transactions account within seconds, a settlement between financial institutions does not happen in real time for clients. So what happens is when you use Zelle, there, it happens in seconds for us, but there's liquidity issues with the actual banks. So the banks need that moving fast, Warriors. They're in a liquidity crisis. They have to have Ripple. It's showing you right here. The XRP case is all about bringing in a new Howey test. They're using this case to drag it into 2022. If it gets settled at the end of 20, doing 2022, 2022 is going to be the adoption period. As we go into 2023, I've been telling you for two years, go watch my videos at 2025, your whole banking switch system is going to be shift upside down. And those who stayed like a tick on a dog are going to be some of the wealthiest people in the world. Now, we know that Federal Reserve's payments pilots incorporated Ripple partner Volante Technologies. And then let's just go back to the liquidity hub. Every step of the way, they keep making these small announcements. November 9th, you know, the, the Ripple liquidity hub for enterprises was announced. This is key. Ripple liquidity hub for enterprises was announced. Let me read that one more time. Ripple liquidity hub for enterprises was announced. Okay. This is designed as a turnkey solution for financial institutions. Ripple liquidity hub will leverage smart order routing to source digital assets and optimize price for market makers, exchanges, OTC, over-the-counter. Enterprises will use Ripple Liquidity Hub to easily and seamlessly provide their customers with the ability to buy, sell, and hold digital assets at the best possible price across a range of venues. Ripple Liquidity Hub will uniquely solve the specific pain points of enterprise customers, avoiding long resource-heavy integration through streamlined API, they can immediately get them up and running within two weeks, unlike most offerings, eliminating pre-funding requirements in order to free up working capital. That is the issue with banks right now, pre-funding requirements. And while the XRP ledger and XRP will remain native part of our tech stack, we at Ripple believe that achieving interoperability is key to unlocking crypto's true potential. The ability to interoperate crypto across networks will break down barriers to entry, enable greater competition and inclusion. Because of this, Ripple Liquidity Hub will initially support BTC, Ethereum, Litecoin, ETC, BCH, and XRP. Available will vary by geography. 
with plans to add additional digital assets over time. In future, Ripple plans to add functionality such as staking and yield generation functionalities. Ripple is going to run the banking system. You're going to be able to do uh, all your everything. Everything is going to be done. It's the new banking system, Warriors. Facts, figures, numbers, logic. You have a choice to make right now, Warriors. Think about this. Here's what I would do if I was in your shoes, not financial advice. This is what I did two years ago. Oh, a little over two years ago, I got my shit together. I cut out all frivolous spending. I put all my money into these speculative assets. It literally changed my life. And I opened up my mind and awareness to what the billionaires are doing. I started following what they're doing, not what they're saying. I didn't let them FUD me out of the market. I watched methodically when they said something. I researched it deeper, and I really realized they're doing the opposite of what they're saying. They're running into assets, Warriors. They are running into assets. They are printing our money into worthlessness, Warriors. Inflation is going up dramatically. Rent prices have gone up 40%. Gas prices have doubled in some areas, Warriors. You are slowly and methodically being pushed into poverty. And if you don't make a decision right now, to rise warriors but you're a very small percentage of the population you realize that somebody in your family has to make a decision wars that's what our warrior academy is all about it's helping people be in a community of people that are like-minded going okay we're all getting our shit together together communication getting out to ask questions calls on a daily basis to keep you focused warriors access to my portfolio i'm not hiding shit from you i'm not a financial advisor i give you all the tools and resources that i use to get myself to financial freedom we're trying to bring everything to you. That's why I linked up with Ken Mack, and I'm learning the LBOs so that we can bring this information to you. We have a big announcement at 9 o'clock today. We're going to help with some mindset training in January to get you back on track in January so you can kick off your year with the Bang Warriors, changing your mindset. It's a lot to shift, Warriors. You've been predictive and preemptive program for a very long time. You've been subject, so your subconscious mind has been programmed since you were a child in the education system to for two 15 minute breaks, for a 30 minute lunch, to fight for the weekend, to fight for Monday wars. You're indoctrinated into a system that's going to keep you broken. If you don't make a decision, nobody in your family is warriors. And your kids, kids are going to live just like we're living the scarcity of Great Depression. Eat everything on your plate. They were in such a scarce environment because the bankers fudded the living shit out of them, fudded the marketplace, and crushed their financial dreams, warriors. And now they got you trapped in the American dream. These long debt cycles, 30-year mortgages, 80-month loans on your cars. Get into your credit card debt, this consumerism for Christmas. All of you are going to get buried in debt again for Christmas. It's all by design to keep you confused, to keep you lost, to keep you broke, and keep you controlled. This is your time to rise, Warriors. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Everything's in the description down below. I only have one Instagram account. That's my legit one in the uh, description down below. Sorry about the fraudsters. Nothing I can do about it. I've sent to Instagram. I've sent to TikTok. We're working to get verification. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. If you can report them for me and ask for verification for my account, that would be great. I love you guys. Let's have a great day. Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. <laughs>